Welcome to the Cinema 4D tutorial. This tutorial I'll show you a few basic modeling tools that you can use to help yourself model. You'll notice this is probably a different Cinema 4D from previous ones that I've been use, using for my tutorials. This is Cinema 4D release 14. Everything that I'll be using in this, uh, to, uh, this Cinema 4D is existent in previous ones. A few changes have been made in the interface and menus up here. But I'll make it clear enough so that you can find it in case you're not using Cinema 4D Release 14. So to get started, let's just create a primitive object. Um, you can do this by going up to the Create menu, or in previous Cinema 40s it's the Object menu. Go to Object and create an object. I'm going to create a cylinder. Shortcut, just click on this icon here, click and hold, and select cylinder. So we have our basic cylinder, the Move tools to move them, these yellow points to resize the object. I'm actually going to change the display so we can see it more easily, so I'm going to change it to lines. That way we can see all the polygons in the object. You'll also notice over in the Attributes menu, under the Object tab, you can change a few basic things such as the radius, which I'll change to 100 centimeters. Height, height segments, how many segments in the height, and rotation segments. Now, 36 looks nice, but it's way more than I need, so I'm going to change that just to 16. It still looks circular, a lot higher polygon count, a uh, lower polygon count, but it's easier for me to work with for this example. You can only access these menus before you make your object, uh, put your object into edit mode. So get all the stuff done now, because otherwise you'll have to do it manually later, and it'll be a lot more work. So once you're all set with that, you can turn your object into edit mode. The way you do that is you either press C or this icon on the side. So you click it and you'll notice the menu's changed and the cylinder icon became a triangle. So if you didn't notice, if you click, you'll have a cylinder icon here, just a triangle here. Triangle means it's in edit mode, it is editable. So what that means is you can play around with the points, the edges, and the faces. So these are the commands you'll click. So points, you'll notice all the points are now selectable. So if I click one, drag it up, drag it down, it changes the point, or I can delete it. And that removes all the faces and edges associated with just that point. The edges, likewise I can select the edges. I'm actually going to go oops, into live selection, and that way I can drag and select multiple edges. And same thing with faces. Now I can select multiple faces at a time. If you have a more complicated object, or even this, and you want to select, for example, all the faces around the entire object really quickly without having to drag, shift, drag, and rotate, you can do this by uh, deselecting only select visible elements. And I'll change the display so you can see this more easily. Let's drag and select, just one drag and select, and you've selected oops, the entire shoot. <laughs> the entire um, cylindrical object. You can see I'm still getting used to the new um, Cinema 40. So always remember to reselect this because sometimes you can really mess your object up if you accidentally select um, sides or polygons on the other side of the object without realizing it. So um, what I gave you a short preview on accident there was this edit menu. You can get this menu by right clicking when you're in edit mode. <clears throat> you can also find these menus up in Mesh and under all these tools. In previous Cinema 4Ds, most of them will be in Structure and Function, but you can also access them through right click, so that is what I'll be doing. So I'll start with the top here, the Bridge tool and the Close Polygon Hole tool. The Bridge tool is useful if you want to, I'll delete this face, if you want to put the face back, re place a new polygon there. So what I'll do is go either in uh, point mode or edge mode. You can't um, you can't do, use the bridge tool in faces. So with edges selected, all I have to do is click on one edge and drag to the next edge. And I've closed the hole. You can also do this in point mode, which is a little more complicated. Just click, drag, and start on the same side and you'll see the face is, is being created and let go and the face is back. So I'll just do it again. 
Oops, there we go. And it's return. For closed polygon hole tool, uh, Cinema 4D uses an algorithm to basically try and find where the hole is in the object. So I'll create a hole that's kind of easy for it to figure out. And select close polygon hole tool and select around here. You'll notice the whole thing gets highlighted and the circle gets drawn around where the hole is. So I click and the hole is covered up. The problem with close polygon hole tool is it does create an algorithm that tries to find where the hole is. So if I had this extra side open here and tried it, it would let's see, it would try and close up the hole really funky looking. So fix all that. The next tool is the dissolve, which I'll be using with the knife tool. So first of all, the knife tool cuts new edges in the object. So if I click and hold, you'll see a white line gets drawn and I just let go and it creates a straight line from my perspective. I say from my perspective, if I turn it, it's not straight anymore. So I'm going to cut the cylinder in half with this uh, with the knife tool. So what I'll do is I'll go to the front view, click over here, go to the front view and deselect visible only and click anywhere off the object about in the middle and drag. Now you'll notice I have no idea whether I'm perfectly straight here or not or like one degree off. If you click and hold and press shift you only get 40 every 45 degree angle cuts so I'm going to click shift and release. And what this does is it creates a nice cut of an edge around the entire cylinder. <clears throat> so now for example if I want to edit this I can easily just drag one of these and have a little more editing power with the cylinder. But now, say you want to remove that edge, say you don't like it and you want to get rid of it, that's where the dissolve tool comes in. So what we first need to do is select all these loop edges. So you can either do this by shift selecting all of them or go to select menu and choose loop selection and click somewhere on, on one of these edges and it'll select the entire loop of edges. You, you'll notice that it tries to find, again with an algorithm, the best loop to fit whatever your selection is. Now that the loop's been selected, right click and just click on dissolve. And it removes the edges and also the points, which is very useful. The next tool, <clears throat> excuse me, is the mirror tool. The mirror tool is acts like symmetry, but it'll create the symmetry in the same object. So what I'm going to do is going to rectangle select and select the entire object. You can also do that by um, oops, do that by command clicking A, select the entire object, and I'm going to go into front mode again, you'll see why in a moment, and select mirror. Now if I click and drag you'll see this white line. The white line is the mirroring axis. So I click and hold about here and the same object is created equal distance from wherever that axis was. Now you'll have to remember that even though it is only selected that one object, it is still under the same cylinder object. So now basically I've created two cylinders known under the same cylinder object. What this means is if I go back into object mode, which is out of edit mode, and click and drag, it drags oops. It drags both of them. So you should know that, and I'm going to undo that. The next tool, slide. You use that with edges, not so probably not so common with um, a cylinder. I've personally never had to use it, and what it does is you click and drag, and it slides that edge wherever you dragged it. The weld tool is the next one. Weld is kind of useful because. If you have multiple points and you want to connect those points into one point, um, that's where the weld tool comes in. So for example, Cinema 4D for some reason doesn't connect the caps to the cylinder body. So if I click and drag, you'll notice there's this gap here. But I want these two pieces attached. So it's one. So I can click on this um, point and drag the whole side. So what I do is I select both points here and there. Right click and choose weld. What this does is it creates a line connecting all the points you've selected and it creates a white dot at the center point. So if I just click anywhere off of these three dots, it'll connect them at the center point. 
but I want them to connect at the start so I just move my mouse very close to it and click and now if you select it again it's one one piece our next tools will require the use of the face so what I'll be using is bevel, extrude and inner extrude bevel you can also do with edges so if I, sele oops, if I select all the faces bevel will round the object and I click and drag and you can see it rounds it a little bit if I do the same thing with the edges I will select the loop click bevel and click and drag and it tries to bevel it but in this case because they're not connected as I pointed out with a weld tool it's going to have some serious problems so let's go back to the faces and just bevel it slightly you can always change options for a lot of these tools over here I have no need to for the moment now we're going to use probably the most cool tool well not really cool but very commonly used tool the extrude tool which is right here underneath it or the keyboard shortcut is D so if you just press D you can extrude and what this does is you select face a set of faces click and drag and you can extrude out or in so I'm going to extrude out a little bit and now the in extrude menu in extrude if you click and drag will make the region smaller that you're going to extrude or edit so if I just dragged it small and I could move it in here without changing these objects but now we can switch back to our oops, actually I'll not make it as drastic switch back to our extrude tool so press D and just move that a little bit so I'll move it up actually again there is another tool um, matrix extrude I rarely ever use it because it's also based on strange algorithms but it looks really cool if you can get it to work so that looks pretty cool in my opinion but it's kind of unnecessary those are most of the tools you're going to need for editing an object there are a few other tools you'll want to worry about for example if you want to make the object all triangles just select it all triangulate and everything every polygon becomes a triangle same thing on triangulate Other than that, you have all the tools you basically need to model. Just have a creative mind, a reference pictures, and know how to use them well. Thank you for watching.